Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a Doom the Dark Ages lag and stuttering for the PC. Uh, there are a couple of different methods, so try not to skip any steps. First of all, we're going to go into the game and adjust a couple of settings. After that, we'll go into Windows and adjust settings from there. Okay, from this menu, go to Settings, and from here, we're going to change a couple of different things. First of all, you want the window mode to be full screen and make sure that it is full screen, not windowed and not borderless windowed. I would recommend uh, the refresh rate be 60 or to match your monitor's refresh rate and VSync to be off. And from here, I recommend shadows to be medium or low, texture and texture filtering to be medium or low. And reflections to be medium or low. Okay, uh, that's everything from within the game. There are a bunch of things we need to do outside of the game, so let's get right to it. I would recommend turning off the Xbox game bar, the Steam overlay, and any kind of Discord, Nvidia, and AMD overlays as well. If you downloaded this game on Xbox app, I would recommend that you uh, right click on it, go to manage, go to files, and click on verify and repair and what this does this looks at the files to see if there are any corrupt files and automatically repairs them it is very useful on uh, steam you can do the similar thing right click on it go to properties uh, go to installed files and click on verify integrity of game files and this will help the game to uh, to fix any kind of corrupted files in the game the next thing you want to do, if you're using an Xbox controller or a PS5 controller, I would recommend updating the firmware on either controller. Uh, for the DualSense firmware updater, you need to go to Sony to get that. For the Xbox controller, you need to go to the Microsoft Store and uh, you just type in Xbox Accessories. Accessories, uh, download this. Um, basically, it is a free app. You download it, uh, then you uh, hook up your Xbox app to the PC and let it uh, install the latest firmware uh, so it runs properly. The next thing you want to do, if you are on an AMD card, you want to go to run. You want to type in DEV, DEV, uh, MGMT.MSC, hit enter. And from here, this is device management under display adapters. Uh, you might see something called uh, Intel integrated graphics or something like that. Something that is not your main GPU. You want to right click on it and hit disable device. Okay, the next thing you want to do uh, if the lag is still continuing, uh, you want to uh, basically uh, copy and paste this thing here. So right here, uh, you can see uh, this code. Um, and what this does, this basically skips the first entry and then it basically uh, skips a lot of different things that uh, causes the game to lag in the beginning. So how do you put this in? Uh, you find the game on Steam, you right click on it, go to properties. Under general, under launch options, you just paste this code in. Close this and launch the game as normal and see if that fixes your issue. The next thing you want to do is run this game as administrator and under compatibility mode. So how do you do this? Uh, this is the same on Steam or the Xbox Game Pass, but you right click on the game uh, in your library. You click on manage, uh, you go to files, you go to browse for here. From here, you're going to see a couple of different files. You want to click on Doom the Dark Ages, click on that, go to content. And from here, you're gonna see a Doom the Dark Ages.exe that is executable for this game. You want to right click on this, click on properties under compatibility tab. You want to click on run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations and hit apply and hit OK. And uh, if that still is not working, I would recommend run this uh, program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and give it a try. And there are two different things you can try if nothing else is working. So what you want to do is uh, you want to turn off hags on Windows. So you want to type in graphics uh, settings. 
And from here, uh, Windows 10 is a little bit different, but it will still be in this uh, same thing. Uh, click on system under graphics. You're gonna see something called advanced graphic settings. And basically you want to, uh, this is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You want to turn this off, reboot your PC to see if that fixes the issue. And then uh, the next step, uh, you want to check the disk for errors. So you want to uh, go into search on the bottom left of your screen, type in CMD to bring up the command prompt. You want to right click on the command prompt, hit run. As administrator, uh, it will ask you yes or no. You want to hit yes. And then when this comes up, you want to type in the following command, chk dsk space slash f space C or whatever your uh, current uh, main drive is and hit enter. Um, and it is asking me, uh, this is the NTSF uh, instead of a FAT system. So what you want to do is hit uh, Y, hit uh, enter, and this will basically check uh, the disk for any kind of errors and it will automatically fix them. Even if uh, the game is uh, not lagging, I would recommend doing this. This does speed up uh, your system quite a bit. Okay, so method number two, you want to update or roll back graphics drivers. If you haven't updated your graphics drivers, um, you need to go to the NVIDIA app and there is a new update for the NVIDIA that does support the Doom game and that should fix a lot of different crashes. You go into drivers on the left hand side and do that. Uh, on the other hand, um, if you have done this and the game still is crashing, what you want to do is roll it back and download version 566.36 or 572.83 from the NVIDIA driver archive. I'll put this also in the video description below. And uh, you also want to use a display driver on installer, a DDU. Um, this is a free software to uninstall drivers and roll back the drivers. Okay, so I want to disable the Discord overlay. I'll show you how to do that very uh, briefly. Uh, assuming you have Discord running, you want to open Discord. Go to user settings. Here we are, uh, go to user settings. It's a little uh, cog thing right here. From here, I uh, go to, it should be something like game overlay. Here it is, game overlay. And you want to uh, you want to disable all the overlays. Uh, you want it says uh, enable legacy overlay. Turn that off. Enable overlay. Turn that off as well. Uh, these uh, really do uh, have the game crash for many people. The next thing you want to do uh, within the game is to enable triple buffering. So in the game, go to settings, video, enable triple buffering, and set the windowed. A full screen mode and save and restart and that is everything from my side uh, if this video helped you leave the video a like and please subscribe it really helps the channel uh, thank you very much and see you in the next video